day is it? It's Friday, right? Friday. Nineteen and O. Garbanzo beans, thanks for the prime. Oh, please, 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 Lazarus. Okay. All right, Lazzy Daddy. Thank you, Atticus, for the resub. What's up, brother? I love this gameplay. Damn. Did I not start my run fast for you? Fast enough for you, Karen? Or, uh... Oh, I see the wheel that I took down before I started my run. We got a Cobalt Karen. There we go. Oh God, I was looking at chat. Bleed, Lazarus, bleed. If I die, it's fine, I'm Lazarus. That's right, Cobalt Karen yourself in shame. No fun allowed, no jokes allowed here. We can't offend anybody. Why isn't it 42069? Because I triggered you. Boom. Mission complete. Dude, what if my Oculus, like, doesn't show up until 8 o'clock tomorrow? I want it to be here early. I just know that I'm gonna, like, bump into Hunter or something. The second I put it on, he's just gonna magically appear around me and I'm gonna have to dance around him and learn how to, like, be a fucking Jedi. All right. If you just like put your computer under your pillow while you sleep, then you'll just absorb all of my stream into your brain directly. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. You know, people used to put books under their pillow that couldn't read in hopes uh, that they would actually absorb some kind of knowledge from it. Do I take the iPad? Yes. Yes. Yes, he he cannot have his iPad in, in <laughs> when it's sleeping time. At Cobalt Streak, that's, that's me. Hello. No lie, I read all the rules to poker and Pinocchio into a tape recorder. I actually heard that if you listen to classical music while you sleep, it makes you smarter. But I never actually read research on it. But I heard that it's like a maybe like a myth. That's been debunked. Aw. Well, that's sad. Dad Miz gifted a shove sub to Seven Yelv. Yay. Seveny 15. <laughs> there it is. Nailed it. This run kind of sucks so far. 
What about if, uh, what about chewing gum during a test? I heard that if you actually like chew gum, it can make your brain um, function more. Uh, easily or I don't know what the right term is eating chocolate before a test can I tell you guys about my first ACT test when I was in high school I wasn't the I wasn't the model teenager uh The ACT is like the assessment test for Tennessee uh, for like getting into college, like the SAT, ACT. Old Man Scraps, thank you for the Twitch Prime. He had a bad influence. No, no. So, I, I'm diagnosed with ADHD, so I used to take Adderall um to help me focus yona weiss thanks for the prime and the night before my test i think i smoked like four blunts and then got three hours of sleep woke up popped two adderall and then i went and i scored really well on the test uh, i did a great job actually um I got a full scholarship to the college that I had applied for. But that's, that's what that's at 16 me, 16 year old me. Oh. <laughs> uh, I remember at one point though, I was doing like the math or the science section, I don't remember which. And we got called 15 minute time left and I was like halfway through so I just started bubbling in answers randomly and I didn't do that bad on that section so streamer luck that story was better than expected oh boy They diagnose Adderall to anyone that is not in the status in classrooms. That is not in the status. What is... What? Uh, I was actually a gifted student that was in all of the honors classes, AP pre-AP classes, um, all that. But... When they tested my IQ, they also took me to see a doctor, and he's like, this motherfucker got ADHD. I do have ADHD, though. I really do. It, it kind of sucks. I, I think it makes me a really good streamer, though. Because I'm constantly, like, playing the game and looking at chat. My attention is just back and forth, back and forth. And then I get like easily excited. I also forget stuff really easily. I can have a conversation with somebody and then an hour later not remember exactly what I said. I don't remember what I did last week. Um, I definitely have a hard time focusing on certain things. I don't know. I have like all the fucking little quirks to describe it. Huh. I can't believe you still stream. I remember watching you the first time during the Afterbirth release when you did a massive marathon, and I hadn't seen you since. Yeah, dude. I ended up going off the grid, and I lived in a cave uh, for, like, five years. And one day, uh, a unicorn snuck into the crevice and the radiant light, um, it was so beautiful that it it led me out of the back exit of the cave and 
to the uh, the bridge that sat underneath the Starbucks. And from there, I was like, wow, I can probably just steal internet from Starbucks and start up my streaming career again. And here we are to this very day. Uh, Sergeant Pink Drink, thank you for the tier three sub. And it was all because of that unicorn. He's the Phantom of Starbucks. It's, you know, it's it's a good life. I, uh, I get free mocha latte espresso cappuccinos. Internet's pretty fire. More bombs! Anyway, I've been here. Where the fuck have you been, Minthonzo? Did you go on some kind of spiritual journey as well? Or... Huh. I don't know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on at Cobalt Shriek on Twitter. I'll take this one. What's up, Papworth? Anyone got the link for the camping? Uh, all of my videos and clips were removed from my channel. That's where I've been for the past two days. Trying to download everything off of Twitch that I can to salvage all of the content that I've been making for the past nine years, eight years. We are on the ninth year right now. Getting pizza? Hell yeah. You know what I had today? I've been like so stressed out, guys. I've been Ubering like every fucking day. It's terrible for my wallet, but it's delicious for my stomach. And I got bulgogi today. Uh, bulgogi, white rice, some samjang to go with it. Delicious. Where's Ladarius to stop the evil Twitch overlords? It's so funny, guys. They had the audacity in Twitch EU and UK to hold like a clip competition where they're like, send us your scariest clips. It's like, motherfucker, I just deleted 20,000 clips off my channel and you're running a clip competition? And then you announce some other feature called celebrations, which previously were attached to subs and bits. And it's for, for cash tips that they're taking 50% of. So they're trying to incentivize anybody that would use PayPal to tip me to use this new Twitch system, but it's 50-50 cut. Don't they know that they already ruined my PayPal tips when they brought out bits the first time? 90% of PayPal tips went into bits. So it's like you're scraping the bottom of the barrel and pissing people off to do it. Thanks for the 2009, Nuez. Emptying that bit account out. At least with bits, it's not 50%. And you guys get a, a badge and some recognition, like a little something extra for it, which is more than I can do with PayPal stuff. And um, also, as Vile Guy pointed out, I don't have to worry about chargebacks. So... I don't ever have to worry about spending the bits that I get, right? But this new shit that I read about, I'm just like, I don't. If they were to tell me, hey guys, we really need to make some money because we're trying to 
get you guys licensing for music so that we don't have DMCA issues or tools to help you download and manage your clips and VODs faster or um, whatever. Then I'd be like, cool, they're being transparent. That money's going towards something to help me out. Great. But yeah, I don't think that's happening. See ya, M. Shelly. Have a great night. I thought Cobalt was remembering something old. Now I'm trying to re remember. Ooh! What it could be you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> Back to PayPal, bitch. Also, I am not Vile Guy, bitch. No, Vile Guy said on Twitter today that he, like, Oh, wait a second. That was you. That was you. I just very quickly scanned the... the that was you. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought that was a vile guy for some reason. Y'all are both white, okay? You white people all look the same. Jesus. Let's go. We actually do kind of look alike. I know, and when you're looking at a picture that's this fucking big on your phone... <laughs> I mean, I feel embarrassed that I got you guys mixed up. But... It could have happened to anybody. Whoa. The poop respawned and pushed it towards me. We got a goat head, boys and girls. Okay. I take that. I don't really care about the other item too much. Let's roll out. Cobalt didn't even remember when he first met me. I sure didn't. Do you have the monitor? Um, no. The monitor is actually through Lisa's phone. It's fine. I can go check on him in a little bit, Dad. He's going to fall right asleep. I'll check on him when I take a break. Oh, I meant to get those diapers out of his room, too. And throw them away. I can do that when I take a break. Thank you so much for getting him to bed, Dad, so I can stream. I'm sure chat appreciates it. Or maybe they're like, we don't really fucking care. We just... I'm only watching Cobalt till my number one favorite streamer comes on, dude. Then I'm out of here. It's just, just... It's just a Dr. Lupo waiting room is all it is. Because we stream the same shit. You're hanging out. I feel attacked. I was just joking. Doctor Who? You know, the good doctor. The nice doctor, not the evil doctor. Ego the Great, thanks for gifting some subs, man. The one that, like, wants you to buy razors to shave your face with. My favorite streamer streams earlier, so I'm staying here. Sick. 
it's fine. Jay Gu guy calls me his like 1,000th favorite streamer. Some shit. Uh, an anonymous gifter gave us up to Granddad Vault. He's just on a different account than normal. Oh, by the way, thanks for the $20, Nuez, to put me in my place. Plus the bits, so I guess like 40 bucks. The Good Doctor, have you ever seen a Dr. Lupo stream? No, I think I'm, I think I'm too old for that. I'm an old man. I've never actually watched. I've never watched Shroud, Ninja, Tim the Tat Man, or Dr. Disrespect, or Dr. Lupo. I've never watched even a second of their streams. Um, I just, uh, I don't know. I just don't have time. I'd rather watch my friend's streams that I've known for a long time. I probably could learn a lot if I had more time to watch more streams. Give me some inspiration for ideas. Who are your favorite streamers? Okay, the streamers that I actually watch right now, when I can, um, there's like two or three. I would say the number one is Dan Giesling. Uh, I just think he's really funny and I love watching him play games because he gets so excited. He's just entertaining. He has great production value. Uh, super nice guy. And then I watch my buddy Eloheim. I like to watch his stream at night uh, when he's on. And then I'll also pop in to Mouth stream. Uh, I like watching him play Spelunky for like 30 minutes a day, maybe when I'm watching my kid downstairs and I have a minute to sit down. And that's like all I've been able to watch lately. A lot of streamers that I would watch stream the same schedule I do, like NL, I, I normally can't watch his stream because we're live a lot at the same time. I watch Josh, but he streams when I do. Uh, Man vs. Game, I, I mean, I catch him when he's online, but the time that I normally have to watch streams is in the morning. Do I watch TV? Nope, I watch Netflix, Hulu, Funimation, and Crunchyroll. And Amazon Prime. I think we're just gonna leave because I'm lost, because I'm talking so much. We got some solid items right now. Those are all TV. Well, I, I assumed he meant like cable TV. Is my wallet doing well? Are you asking me if I'm making money? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like a rude question to ask somebody. For the record. Is your wallet doing well? <laughs> We're doing fine. He wants to rob you. Prison wallet. Isn't that my butthole? I mean it. I mean, I just said it because it seems like to be a lot of monthly payments. 
Uh, those pile up easy. Well, I'm only subbed to like five people on Twitch. Um. Yeah, we, we actually cut out a lot of stuff. I need to cancel my Disney Plus. But the Mandalorian comes out Friday. No, dude, we... We do, we do really well. We're taken care of. You guys take really good care of us. I mean, I've got 2,300 subs right now. That's... That's amazing. That's way more money than I thought I would ever earn in my whole life. I'd have a lot more money if, you know, um... We didn't have to do all these therapies and stuff uh, for Hunter, but it's worth it. That's If there's one thing that I'm going to spend my money on, it'd be that. I'd spend every last dollar I had on that on that kit, man. If, it, if I thought it was going to help him, every fucking penny. Love my kid. Ow. I mean, I'm giving away a quest too, and I bought one for myself. We just did a sponsored stream for Noida and for Stream Raiders. We're fucking chilling, guys. We got Repentance coming out soon. Um, I'm I'm just loving life. When's the giveaway? I'm going to get a Gleam set up. It'll be like our other giveaways. I think it's going to have to be US only, though, just because shipping internationally is a nightmare, and I physically have the Oculus. I might make it like a little Oculus care package where I stuff like some little Cobalt Shriek shits in there. Like I've got, um, I've got like a, uh, like Isaac stuff my mom, my mom has made before. Like a keychain of like a sad bomb. And I've got stuff just sitting around everywhere. Signed magic cards. I mean, I, if that's something that you specifically mentioned when we reached out to you, if you're a winner, then I could do that. I'll sign a basic land for you or I don't know. Rip EU. I wish I could send it to EU. You don't want our filthy American packages anyway, okay? I know we have so many international people, and I, I really try to include everybody in our giveaways that I can, but I want to give away an Oculus. Yeah, I said I, said I got it. I got it, Nuez. I know my kid isn't going to wake up. Once he gets his bottle and he's in bed, he passes out in like the first 30 minutes and then he doesn't wake up again until like 2.30 in the morning and then if he has a bottle, he'll fall right back to sleep. And then he'll wake up anywhere between 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Uh, and he'll wake us up by knocking on his door with his feet while playing with his electronic book. And then I open the door and I peek my head in and he looks up at me in the darkness and he goes, da da. <laughs> What's up, love is precious. And then we get a diaper change. He will be three, uh, November 3rd. Ooh, I'm almost a guppy. Wish my little one slept in till seven. Yeah, I, I think it's because he doesn't nap during the day. No matter how tired this kid gets, he never fucking naps. Like, his bed is always available to him. He could curl up anywhere he wants and fall asleep at any time. And he just won't take a nap. 
So when he sleeps, he sleeps like a motherfucker. And then he'll wake up maybe two or three hours in the middle of the night. But all he does is talk to himself in bed. And sometimes he'll like kick the wall or make a little noise. And then he goes back to sleep again. So. Weird. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I mean, I got a dead cat. We should be fine. Is that not sleep talk? No, he's he's awake when he does it. We actually got really lucky because when we transitioned him from his like crib to his uh to his like bed when he was big enough to get out of the crib, he'll like stay in bed until the morning time, until like the sun starts coming up. And we really thought that he was going to be like roaming around the room and tearing stuff up and he just doesn't do that. It's he usually just stays in the fucking bed the whole time. Even if he wakes up in the middle of the night. Anyway, sorry for talking about my kids so much. <laughs> They're asking me questions about it. Two minutes until the raid. Yeah, it makes a noise when it goes off. And sometimes I don't want to run it right away. I want to let it marinate because I don't want to lose focus of my run. I also don't like taking breaks in the middle of my run in case it has to go up on YouTube. Because that's kind of like shitty if you're watching a YouTube video. And you're watching it for Isaac specifically. And then all of a sudden, it's time for stream raiders. I think it's fine during stream because we're all playing together. But it's not a great, like, stopping point for videos. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of shitty. But luckily, an Isaac run usually takes around 30 minutes. Hey, nice pyro. Sure, dude. My pleasure. I wonder how many, like, older viewers will come back to watch me play Repentance. I wonder how many, like, old faces we'll see. I'm kind of excited to see uh, who shows up. More founders? I don't know about that. I mean, we have, like, a really solid community that's been around for a long time, though, already, but, uh, it's always interesting to see who comes out of the woodwork. Yeah, I remember your name, Love is Precious. I was talking on Discord in the Magic channel, uh, to Dende, and or dindy i don't know i always call him dinde because dragon ball z or whatever but uh he was like oh i hope it's he was talking about like anime cards or something like the japanese alternate versions of them and then he was like oh i hope they don't do any more because i loathe anime i can't stand it he's like i don't care if other people watch it i just don't like it and i was like oh i'll fight you dunde and like it was auto corrected because I was on my phone and then I uh, corrected it and he's like, oh, I can see how you get my name messed up or something. Um, I was like, motherfucker, I know who you are. Like he's been coming around forever. It was my auto correct. I didn't just mess his name up. <laughs> Do you remember me, Cobalt? Never heard of you, Black Swarm. I never said I hope they don't do it again. Shut your mouth, Dende. I'm going to fight you. Let's go watch some anime together. I despise anime. Okay. So no thank you. It do be that way sometimes. 
I have the same stance on all of them. Bruh. How could you do me like that? I'm a firm believer that if someone doesn't like anime, and I know this is a stupid stance to take and it's not realistic and everybody's different. And blah, 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 blah. I feel like though, there's an anime for everyone. There's some anime out there that someone's gonna like for them. They just haven't found it yet. Because there's just so many different types. And it's so good. My wife hated anime until she saw Death Note. Death Note is so depressing too. Like, I get it. One Piece, not for me. Naruto, not for me. I mean, I could name a bunch of animes that I don't really particularly like that a lot of people like, but then there's ones that are really fucking good. Come on. But hey, to each their own. You want to hate all anime? That just seems like you're being a negative Nancy to me and you don't like to try new things. People who say Naruto, like how Cobalt says it, are evil. Did I say it wrong? You know, in the Karate Kid, I always thought that Mr. Miyagi was calling uh, Daniel, Daniel Sun. But I realized the other day when I was watching Cobra Kai that it's Daniel San. Like, because it's, it's Japanese, right? Like, Daniel San. But growing up, I thought it was Daniel Sun. I was like, shit, I watch so much anime. Now I pick up on it easy. Jesus, this floor is ridiculous. My health situation, a little sketchy. Is that show any good? Cobra Kai is one of my favorite shows right now. I didn't think I'd be into it because like, I'm not super into the Karate Kid or anything, but it's really good. I, it's good fun. It has like feel good moments. It doesn't get like too dark or depressing. It's got like good comic relief. I relate a lot to it because it's got like 80s and 90 references and a great soundtrack. I think it's really well done. It also shows um, perspective. I think like, it, obviously in the original Karate Kid, you're kind of one-sided uh, on Daniel's perspective, right? And not Cobra Kai at all. And in Cobra Kai, you kind of see the, the perspective from both sides. And it's not like one side is good or evil or one side is right or wrong. They both have things you like about them, but they also both have flaws, which is what I enjoy. Um, I think it's really cool how they did that. Now, Dark is good, but every now and then it's nice to have like some refreshing feel good stuff. That is not guppy.
I think I kind of expressed myself in a good way without spoiling. As far as that show goes. Uh, I have. I'm all caught up on that hell. It's pretty good. There are some moments where the conversations they have are kind of long-winded. And I don't even quite understand what they're even trying to fucking say to each other. For example, like with um, the twins and the main character. Like that whole part of the story. They, there's like a lot of dialogue and it's kind of like... Almost hard to follow what they're even trying to say. Because they're so fucking weird. But then again, the story itself is good and it's got cool combat uh, scenes. It's like a fucked up Groundhog Day mixed with a video game, almost. Lisa is up. Oh shit, really? I hope she remembered that I told her you were here. I was like, don't walk out naked, my dad's here. This run is kind of scary. I mean, I have a lot of lives, but it could it could get sketch. see what we can do. Hopefully the chest will give us some good stuff. I got this judgment for an extra item. We have good damage. We just have to hope that in the chest we don't get, like, dark adversary rooms. Dark adversary would be really bad. At least you can grow your magic collection now, Dende, with all that money you made. Oh, don't die. I'd rather not uh, do this with one heart right now. Okay. I don't get paid overtime. Oh, you work a salary and they're making you work that much? Jesus. Judgment. Gimpy, I guess. These are pretty bad. Okay. Champion death. It's not good. That's real bad. Right. Lazarus. Motherfucker. I finished the room actually too. It's the sad part. Oh god. Okay.
Oh, and gluttony alive last. All right, no love. Suave, thanks for the 13 months. Much just trying to survive. And assist, thanks for the 59 months. Ah, uh, shouldn't have looked at chat right there. All right, we found the boss room. That's good news. That's not good news. Yo, Dark Air Force, thanks for the prime. Okay. Just go try to get it done. for Lazarus. Whew. Oh, we have a battle now too, huh?